everyone welcome back once again to the mathematics session in today's video lesson we were discussing in the previous session we were discussing the polynomials of class 9th chapter 2 okay the concept video the introductory part those have not watched that video lesson please click on the i button may get it notified now today we will be solving the problems involving the concepts and the introductory part okay the exercise 2.1 we will be solving the problems i have noted on almost all the problems are one mark questions so i have noted down few problems from the exercise here let's start find the degree of each of the polynomials given below the polynomials are given six we have to find the degree now what is the degree degree of any polynomial is nothing but it is the highest power of the variable now here the variable is x okay throughout so the degree here is 5 because the highest one is 5 now here the degree of this variable here 1 here 0 so 2 here the highest power is the degree so degree 2 here it is a constant polynomial simply we have a constant here this is called a constant polynomial the degree of the constant x to the power of 0 isn't it so we can write into x to the power of 0 so the degree is 0 here and here the degree is the highest is 6 okay now here the degree of the polynomial is 2 y square isn't it now here the degree the variable here is t okay the t is having a 1 so the degree is 1 so likewise we can write the degrees which is nothing but the highest power of the variable now let's go for the second one which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable so we have to find out the polynomials of in one variable so here this is having x square x and throughout the polynomial is with the one variable so this is one variable polynomial with one variable we have to identify okay here also one variable only x is there that variable is x okay here here we have two variables see here p and q so this is no because it is not a we we have to send polynomials in one year no it is pol not a polynomial of one variable it has two variables okay p and q right now here y and y here this is only one variable now coming to this fifth one see here we have x but is this a polynomial no this is not a polynomial why because we can write this x to the power of half and x root 5 isn't it so it is x but it is just an algebraic expression because the power is half that is it is a rational number it is not a whole number when the power of the variable is whole number then it is called as a polynomial so this is not a not polynomial right now here two variables clearly so no it has two variables so it is not one variable polynomial likewise so like this we can easily find out now let us do the third one write the coefficients of x cube in each of the following just asking the coefficient okay coefficient is a number attached to the variable attached in the sense to be multiplied not plus or minus if it is plus or minus it is not called as a coefficient just the number attached that means multiplied to the variable is called as a coefficient now we have to find the x cube coefficient now here in this equation x cube here coefficient is 1 okay right here the coefficient is minus 1 so i'll write it in the short form coefficient minus 1 here if you see the coefficient is root 2 okay coefficient is root 2 so the number attached means to be multiplied not to be added or subtracted okay x cube the coefficient is 2 x cube coefficient is 2 here 
the coefficient is pi by 2. Now, see the sixth one, the coefficient is clearly minus 2 upon 3. And here, this is a constant. So, that means the coefficient of x cube, we can write it as 0 into x cube. This we can write it as 4 plus 0 into x cube. Isn't it? So, that means the coefficient of x cube is 0. We can write this like this. So, this is a constant polynomial. So, please note it down. Let's see if you... The fourth and the fifth problem I have noted down. Fourth one, classify the following as linear, quadratic and cubic polynomials. Here, six problems are given. So, we have to say whether they are linear, quadratic or uh, cubic. Now, the linear polynomial is that polynomial having degree 1. So, the general form is ax plus b. Whereas, the quadratic polynomial is having degree 2, ax square plus bx plus c is the general form equal to 0. Cubic is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0. That means the degree of the polynomial should be 3. That is the cubic polynomial. According to the degrees, the polynomials are classified as linear, quadratic and cubic. Now here, the first one is having degree 2. So this is a quadratic polynomial. Okay. Now this is having degree is the highest power. So the highest power is 3. So this is a cubic polynomial. Right. Now this is again quadratic having degree 2. Now, this is x to the power of 1, that is, this is a linear polynomial. Okay, now, this is a constant polynomial. Here, 3p, not a constant, sorry, here the variable is p. 3p is a linear polynomial. Okay, this is not a constant polynomial, sorry, a linear polynomial. The variable here is p, p to the power of 1, so having degree 1. Now, this is by r square. This is again a quadratic. Now, the, here the variable is r, r square. So, quadratic polynomial. Right. Now, the fifth one I have written. Write whether the following are true or false. I will read out for you. The statements are given. There are six problems here. So, I will read out. Um, so, we have to tell whether they are true or false. Give the reasons. Okay. First one is a binomial has two terms right it's true binomial is having two terms okay only two terms polynomial is called as a binomial every polynomial is binomial need not be polynomials are differentiated as monomial binomial trinomial isn't it so false so we cannot say all polynomials are uh, binomials now the third one a binomial may have degree three it may have, it may not have. Okay. So, binomial simply means two terms. Okay. And ha may have degree 3. Yes, it may have. It may have, it may not have. Okay. Right. Degree 3. Uh, 3x cube plus 2. That is a binomial. Having two terms means a binomial. Okay. Now, the fourth one. Degree of 0 polynomial is 0. Degree of a 0 polynomial. Now here, so 0 polynomial is 0 and the degree is not 0 here. Here the degree is 1. So this is false. It's not defined. Okay. Now fifth one, the degree of x square plus 2xy plus y square is 2. Okay. The highest power is 2. So the degree is 2. True. Now, the sixth one, pi r square is a monomial. Yes, surely because like this, pi r square, this is having only one term. It is a monomial. So, it is monomial having one term. So, it is true. Right. Here, we have found out or we have uh, given true or false. Then, the last problem is that the sixth problem. Give one example each of monomial and trinomial of degree 10. Just... Quote an example of a monomial and a trinomial of degree 10. Just give your own examples. So, with this we have completed the exercise 2.1. Hope you have understood them. Please make a note. Make a note of it. Let's see next concept in our next video lesson. Thank you all.